Zaramaru here with a special guest based on the obvious picture. Ayo! Um, now, I said on Facebook I was going to upload, uh, edit and upload the uh, Geofield video. And I actually planned to do that, but one thing happened, and I blame three people. I blame Zach, I blame Christian, and I blame Sam! Because Discord kept pinging. Now, I increased my audio, so if I were to upload that video, all you hear is beep, 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 beep. It was just, I had to still laugh where my own ears were wanting to bleed after the second one. And I have it loud to where you can actually hear Ray, so I can have him turned down in Discord overall, so he doesn't hear himself from my headphones. Yeah, that happens more frequently than you would think because Discord sometimes messes up its own settings. A lot of things screw up, but um, now we now we did we were going to the guava. He has the roller gua guava with him, but I'm doing a combination. Now this is a flavor that we haven't reviewed that came out um January or December, one of the two, um, which was Dub Melon Mint. Yes, uh, that was actually, yeah, it was either late December or early January. And my, I don't have the audio files anymore. Well, no, we never did, so I don't have an audio file, so, either way. And, honestly, it was a rather refreshing flavor. I really wouldn't call it the taste of winter, but it it was actually surprisingly refreshing, more so than I thought, because when, when I think watermelon, I think summer, and I, I don't think infusing it with mint. And surprisingly, it was, uh, it's refreshing. Oh, wow. This combination is actually good. It's, it's, there's nothing overpowering. You still get the mint, but you can taste the mixture of the guava and watermelon together. Good. I'll have to give it a try another time. Yeah, it's really not that bad. Oh, wow. Mm. Really happy I actually tried that because... Now, when we did the guava, we compared it to the Haritos and the Kearns uh, sodas. Um... And and the case of that is um, obviously both have the same kind of hangups as a soda slash carbonated drink. You know, the carbonation, diabetes. artificial sweet diabetes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the artificial sweeteners. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to try to say it. <sighs> diabetes. Um, diabetes. When I say diabetes. Call Liberty. Uh. Uh, <laughs> old memes aside that nobody else but people from like the early 2000s would get. Um, it's uh, yeah, you 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 know the whole rundown with sodas, artificial sweeteners, um, all that nonsense. And of course, in the case of Haritos, especially cane sugar, which is not present in G Fuel. And surprisingly, uh, as I had said in two previous timelines, was that basically they've gotten much better about replicating the flavors that they are presenting. Whereas if you go back about a year, year and a half, two years even, um, you would notice a slightly chalky aftertaste, but with these up-and-coming ones that I want to say ever since, uh, really, the one that comes to mind is the Bahama Mama, which, again, I said is the taste of summer, and this is the taste of spring, they've gotten so much better about improving the flavor without compromising, like, you know, adding sugars or anything of the sort. I can do you one better. Here's, here's one, of my, one of my favorites. It's also one of my favorite things to snack on. Raging Gummy Fish from Phase Jev. Yes, which 
with my experience with that beforehand, I had never had Swedish fish. My buddy Red was outraged and bought me a box of Swedish fish that summer, which I didn't is know that. which uh, coincided with the arrival of the uh, Swedish fish G Fuel flavor, and that was probably one of the earliest and first times I could actually say that. G Fuel really nailed down what they were presenting. Another one they did fantastic. And this is another one of mine, and I actually loved it. Um, Because back when I first moved to Texas, we had a, uh, like, as for people who don't know, this is going to be like a G Fuel discussion, which will be in the title. Because I want to do more of a discussion as well as tasting this. Um, Mm -hmm. Well, both the combination and the regular, which, again, fantastic. It because guavas overall have a uh, pungent smell to them. Yes, and there is nothing pungent about this. It's got the sweetness taste of the of a guava just right, but it's not overpowered. Oh, uh, definitely agreed. Especially with someone whose aunt actually grows guavas in her backyard, Mexican family and all that, and makes authentic guava juice for the summertime, and. Yeah, they have a bit of an odor to them, but when you get them all blended up and whatnot, you get something really, really sweet tasting. And that's something that this particular flavor encapsulates quite well. Agreed. And credit to their uh, design team for the uh, Shaker Cup. You can't see it because obviously no camera on me or Mark here, but... uh, um. It is a very nice green color for the outside, with a a bit of pink on the inside, which is exactly how the fruit is. I'm very tempted, since I'm not doing a uh, camera. I'm very tempted if I if I have the uh, just don't desire to do it. Inserting pictures ever so often of things. Oh, a slideshow would not be a bad idea. No, I can actually input it at certain parts. That shouldn't be too hard, actually. Um, well met. It's just I haven't done that well, so it's gonna take some time to get used to it. But another flavor, perfect, fantastic in milk. Cause I want to go back to uh, when I first moved to Texas. That's when I kind of got started. It's actually right, right. the guava soda too, so it kind of coincides with that. Um, because I lived in New Jersey, I, you already know my my situation on that. Um, cotton candy, because. United used to uh, partner with a um, with a I, I want to say a local company, but not really a local company because I didn't really understand all that stuff back then. Um, and they had different flavored milks, mm. and cotton candy was one of the ones I would buy constantly. Yeah, I I recall you mentioning that actually. And what you could do is you could return the bottles, and if you returned enough, you could get yourself um, free milk. And That's not a bad promotion. It really wasn't, because they would recycle the bottles and reuse them. And uh, I, and I love that. Like, they had any, any flavor you could think of that would go with milk, they had. A secondary favorite was the cookies and cream milk. Ooh, yeah, that would be a good. That would be a good thing to have. No, they had, they had vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, um, the typicals. They had banana, um, cotton candy, cookies and cream. Been a while. I don't even remember the brand. Um, but I eventually found like they had they made um, powdered mix for it. A different brand, and the, again, this was a long time ago. It got the, it was discontinued, unfortunately, as most good things. But I managed to find another concentrate over in Amarillo. I think it was actually at Tries. Don't remember if exactly. It may have been at Tries that I got it. That sounds. Very much like something you would find there. And, oh, I, I eventually had to get rid of the ones I had, because date-wise. But, 
So good. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going through flavors that we ha like. The flavor of flavors we haven't reviewed were literally just the French vanilla iced coffee and the melon mint. Uh, strawberry banana. Oh yeah, I think I tried to review that one on my own because you were AFK for a while. That and I, I actually have not had that flavor yet. That too. <laughs> I have to wait for a buy one and get one free. Because what I'll do is I'll get, I'll send both to myself. Then eventually I'll be able to package out to you. Not a bad idea, and no, no big deal or rush. I'm just saying, not like it really matters for continuity sake. Uh, a delayed review doesn't hurt anything here because we're not monetized. That's, that's why I didn't give a shit about language or whatever the fuck we did. Um, oh yeah. I will say though, it tastes fantastic in milk because Sam's been using it in the mornings um, when she goes to work. Uh, which one? The so, so coffee or the strawberry banana? Oh. Ah, yeah. No, that sounds definitely like a Sam thing because she 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 jacked your um, strawberry shortcake when that was brand new. She uh, hoarded practically hoarded your um, dub melon for a while. Yeah, I know. Uh, I got that back. Uh, she was. She was basically inhaling the peach cobbler like it was cocaine. And the black on blackberry. Oh, speaking of that, have you yes. had Yes! Yes, I've had one. I had both of mine. I had and... one when we went to, went to go see Sonic. I had drank that in the way. It was so fucking good. This is one of the cases where... um better than the powder. Not just better, but... It was also how to put it wasn't overly carbonated either that too because here's the thing folks because we really haven't done a review of the cans either is um which was uh the uh sour cherry was, uh rainbow sugar um hold on i can get to it from you can keep talking i'm gonna find it uh blue ice and um nuts what was the other one it was uh, Faysberry. Yeah. Yes. I will say the sour cherry was actually kind of disappointing. Uh, it was a a little flat, it's not to confuse no, with no, no, an no, actual no, flat no. soda, but the, when the you if you flavoring was flat. Yeah, yeah. It felt like a watered down version of what you could get from the powder. If anything, which is funny. Blue ice was the best one. Blue ice was a strong showing, and I. I have to hand it to them also for the, uh, probably the, the Rainbow Sherbet for coming pretty close. True, but they have another one in production. I... Tropical Rain. Oh, shit. Time to see that if that one's actually good because, um, a little history. Tropical Rain was one of my first G Fuel flavors, and this is going back to back in the day while flavors were good they had a bit of a chalky aftertaste so I want to see if they actually manage to do what I want them to do with this and go two steps forward. Yes because your first diesel experience was back in um, October of 2018 from Blood Orange Uh yes which was fantastic I'm actually sad that they, they, they discontinued it but they're going to repackage it I bet they did that same thing with the pineapple. The only one that they have not done is the coconut. Is... Actually, that would make two of them. The coconut and the lychee, which was the mystery flavor. I wasn't a fond of that one, personally. Oh, no. It... it, it no. That, that's why they discontinued it. Yeah, I wasn't fond of it, personally. Um, that's why I only got it from, like... That's why I never got a tub. Mine was actually from, a, uh, from PAX that I got for free, to be honest. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, because that I, sometimes we we're getting like free uh, packets with when we were first getting G Fuel. Oh yeah, yeah, that was actually a relatively new concept. And um, oh man. Speaking of uh, G Fuel, did you like? Do you know that they sponsored the whole uh, so-called feud between Doctor Disrespect and the Undertaker? No shit. Yeah, because he appeared on uh, Doc's stream last Friday. Oh, damn! 
I thought maybe like you know it was one of those things where like you know they take a photo and it's no. promoting for something coming later. This was something that was planned. Um, I was it was actually on a uh, on Wrestling Inc. It all started back in October when he uh, was behind two of the um, announcers. Not at the event, but I think it was actually right by the arena. Like the backstage interviewers. Oh, damn. He's like, uh, can we help you? And he said he was looking for someone. And that's how it started. And then it continued with Undertaker last week. Well, yeah. how about that? Yeah, very lucky to know that one. I, th I thought that was pretty damn cool. Yeah, I would not have expected that. But do you feel overall was something that I decided to take, like, take a gamble with? To be honest, this is the first thing I've taken a gamble with. But I'll go into that with a different video other than this. But do you feel something like, you know what? I'll give this a shot. I, I, got, I got tired of paying so much for monsters, to be honest. Which is a problem, because... I got tired well, of it. It's like... I just, they're not good for you. They're really not. There's way too much sugar in them. Um, they're overpriced. And you're actually not even getting any of the caffeine out of them either. Um, you're really not. That's actually been proven. You're getting maybe a fourth of any, even the vitamins that they say that's in them. And while, yes, they have a whole bunch of flavors, and some of them are actually really, really good, like, the thing like, is... Like the rehab keys. Mm hmm But the thing is, is that still, they tend to overprice and price gouge because everybody, they know long before it now that they're a name brand. And, um... As the They've cornered the market, basically, because Red Bull, not that good either. Mm, no. Um... But usually, I can get, uh... Like, the Ozaka water, I can get that for three bucks. 20, 20 bottles of water, three bucks. Uh, G Fuel. If I go from Amazon, which is their main secondary supplier, that's 30 bucks for 40 servings. And, well, I've got 20 bottles, so I've already... Honestly, the math pretty much adds up to being cheaper and healthier. And not just that, um, it also comes down to the fact that with G Fuel... You can space it out however you want because they really don't go bad very easily. And so, I mean, well, it says, you know, 40 servings, and you think, well, that's like a month in a week, roughly. Uh, but really, drink it whenever you want. I mean, like, you know, you could have one a day, you could have a couple a day, maybe you work a a job with maybe like one odd day where you're working the late shift or a long shift and you know it's just more convenient because it, again it, it comes from the concept of like tang where you pour it in the water shake it up boom sometimes you get a flavor that works with milk that's fine too and they go on sale more often than they do with monsters as well which you pay less for a tub than you do for a flat of monster. And I know this because while my dad was alive, he did just that on a couple of occasions. And let me tell you, I don't know what how much they are now, but back then, uh, it was roughly almost... I want to say about 30 or $35 for a flat of, like, 20 monsters. Which is, like, half the time, depending on how much of those you drink. Well, for for singles, I'm going to say the price differs depending on what state, because they all do it differently. Like, example, uh, well, I haven't lived there in so long, so that's probably, it may be a similar price, if not higher. But, uh... No, actually, it was cheaper when I left, and then... Was more expensive when I came here. Uh, again, all states are different. Like 
if you go to Walmart, a monster before tax. For the regular ones, it is dollar eighty before tax. The the monster coffees are about two eighteen before tax. Now at a gas station, they can run up to almost between two fifty nine to three dollars a can. Unless they have a sale going on. So let that sink in and multiply that. I'm going to say, now I'm going to do the math right now on it while I'm here. Let's do, the, let's do the gas station since most people go there than a Walmart for half of the stuff if they're going to work. It really just depends on where you live, where you're located and all that because sometimes Walmart's more convenient. I'm going to do the math though. Um, I'm going to do it after tax. I'm going to do it by 40 servings. Do you know how much that comes out to after tax? At uh, gas station for a single. Again, and this is Texas tax, I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, go on. $112. For <laughs> how much? For 40 single cans. If you're doing it one every single day before you go. And I know people who do this. So if you're going to a gas station, because people will just go there and, and just – because actually at Walmart, because no other register really open at this certain time, they'll have – they get, get something from the gas station before they head off to work if they come in the morning. So I'm going based off of that. I mean, that Pack makes sense. Because gas stations are open 24-7 except for Pakistan, which closes at midnight but opens up at 5 a.m. Sounds about right. That's how much that would cost. Now, G Fuel. Let's let's say we uh, I'm gonna use the Amazon price because to be honest, you have to order online. Well, you can order online via Am for the people listening. You order online, of course, via Amazon because they've had a partnership for a while. Uh, of course, the main G Fuel website. And while I don't know how global it is, I'm think they're still expanding on that they're also starting to sell through walmart unsurprisingly because it's one of the biggest leading retailers nationwide oh not just that but their cans are in certain 7-elevens not surprised 7-elevens are all over the place even in european and asian countries yeah but i think the 7-elevens in japan are hell a lot better than what we have i'm just saying but okay, I did the th I just did the thirty dollars. Actually, no, let me do that correct because I do get charged tax on Amazon due to the changes they did. So we'll do that. We'll add the three dollars for the water. Thirty-five forty-six. Third of the price, literally. So you can pay more, or you can pay less. Now, for certain people, you may have certain allergies. Um, this is something I didn't know when I got her the G Fuel. Uh, Amici, as I've told you about her before, she's allergic, yes. to, she's allergic to grapefruit. Hmm. And there's grapefruit um, powder in G Fuel. See, I never knew that because I mentioned the, the the grapefruit flavor back in um that Valentine's Day last year. That's when I found a set. I'm going, oh, every flavor. That's probably like, that's when she said, oh, I guess that's why when I have a full scoop, it I feel off, weird, and I forget how she described it, but it was like, oh shit, I had no idea. So if she takes half the scoop, she's usually fine. Because that's just half the serving, pretty much. She's usually fine, so she takes her time with it. Of course, Marco delves into it. I've, I they they tried peace cobbler in January. They loved it. And not surprised. I mean, it's easily one of their most uh, refreshing flavor and versatile flavors. Now, here's something that sucks. 
G fuel can't be shipped to uh, Middle Eastern countries. Uh, yes, you've actually mentioned that before, because I know who you're talking about. Because, um, if I could, I would send it to him myself, regardless. I would make the effort. I know how much it's it would a cost shame. me, because I would do it. But, um, oh, I know. They have an issue on powder. It's Unfortunate. It's their country's customs on that. Which... I guess understandable from certain points, but at the same time, it's it's unopened tubs of delicious drink. I don't get the problem with that at all. But I don't make those rules. He sadly has to abide by them. I, I seriously wish you could try this. Um, cause it's damn good. Like, the more flavors that get released with G Fuel, the better they, they become. Fuck. Huh? I heard something go off. Oh, I have it muted, so I never know who comes in here or not. After what happened last time. What's up, Wiley? Oh, I don't know if y'all seem to hear me or not. I could hear you. I just can't, I have it set to not make notifications while I'm recording on OBS because of what happened the last time. Zach and everyone else kept messaging in Discord. It kept beeping. I think I'll wrap up this G Field discussion video real quick. Um. I just want to do like a quick like discussion over this because you know we got the Doom flavor coming out in nine days. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say roughly about a week and a half. But yeah, as always, this is our Maru. That is Ghost Ray, aka person who still hasn't bragged on the damn loot that I got him. Which, to be fair, I actually do have a reason for that. And I was, it's because I was staying off of. Oh, holy shit. Hmm? Um, I have an image of the flavor. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just finish up my thought before I lose it. It's, the reason why I have it is purely because I've seen a lot of uh, family and friend bickering about uh, politics and stuff like. I, I know that's standard for Facebook, but I mean, like, the kind where if you somehow just up here you get drawn into it so I was trying to avoid that until it cools off but yeah ooh ooh, ooh. ooh that is a that is a slick